meaningful event and very personal to me, so I really appreciate your attendance. And I want to thank Nancy and Freddie and Gail at UCI, along with uh, Mijanu Bam, who has been a terrific uh, event coordinator, who's done so many things for us at CWS, and she and Renee work very closely together, so I really appreciate your help on this event as well. Uh, so the two doctors uh, speaking tonight have been instrumental in our lives, as I alluded to a little bit on the video. First one, Dr. Lynn, uh, has been very important in care of our son, Jacob. And uh, while Dr. Akbari was very important uh, in terms of helping us through very difficult times when Renee had her very tragic accident. So I'm gonna spend a little time talking about Jacob and Dr. Lynn, and then Dr. Lynn's gonna do this presentation, and I'll come back and introduce uh, Dr. Akbari. So when Jacob was two, he had a very rare reaction to the chicken pox that uh, culminated in him having a stroke. And it was a very harrowing experience uh, for us that day, is a day we'll never forget. And um, you know, he was in the intensive care unit. He, his brain started to swell, and the ER doctor that was uh, you know, leading the case said that he was really within about 30 minutes of not making it. And, uh, but due to the incredible intervention among the doctors and the care that he got, he was able to pull out of it. And he was in the hospital for 14 days. And you know, we didn't know what was going to transpire for the rest of his life, how he'd be you know, physically, emotionally, mentally. And, uh, but never underestimate the indomitable will that Jacob has. He's a remarkable uh, person who's always very optimistic and he's come through with uh, flying colors. Now the one thing that has been a residual, besides some of the physical uh, issues he contends with, is, um, is epilepsy. So this first appeared on the scene for Jacob when he had a seizure, kind of out of the blue, when he was eight years old. And over time, he's of course been on anti-seizure medication. And as he's gotten older, that medication has had some debilitating effects. He was very tired and lethargic, and he was on some very heavy doses. And we really, particularly Renee, who would do anything for Jacob, and she was so involved in his medical care, was just committed to finding a solution. And in a very uh, fortuitous sequence of events that I don't have time to talk about right now, we were able to come in contact with Dr. Lynn. And it's embarrassing to admit, but we, Dr. Lynn's an epileptologist. We didn't even know that field existed. And Jacob had epilepsy for 15 years. That's how underserved it is for actually uh, a disorder or impairment that is more widespread than most people think. It's, so there's a huge need for more people to be entering this field. And so he has really done a uh, tremendous job you know, in terms of trying to find the right mix of medicines for Jacob so that he would uh, you know, regain his strength and his uh, energy. And so this was a pretty long and uh, arduous process. It took about two years for Jacob to uh, combination of being weaned off certain medications and being put on other ones and at the same time having seizures. He basically couldn't drive for most of those two years and Rene would essentially be there for him every day to drive him around when she was available. And it was really remarkable her commitment to Jacob and his health and recovery and there wasn't anything she wouldn't do for him. Her commitment to Jacob was absolutely unwavering. So when Dr. Lynn and Nancy and Dr. Akbari and I uh, came together to talk about the planning for this event, uh, we obviously wanted to pick a day when we were all available and where we could uh, have a great turnout if possible. And it became clear that really May was the month that was going to be uh, the most practical month to have it. And once it was aligned on May, I was uh, laser focused on having it on this day. I wanted it on May 23rd, 2019. So why was this so important? Well, this is the day Jacob had his stroke 24 years ago. So uh, this is Jacob today, here. And I look off the window, Jacob, if you can just stand up. And, uh,
without further ado, i would like to introduce dr. jacqueline